Lori, how are you? Every time I pass your house, I notice how many birds there are, flying about, chirping away, and so many different kinds. How do you do it? Easy. I build bird houses. I have a bird bath in the yard, and I put out lots of food for them. You mean you put seed in a bird feeder? I've seen bags of bird seed at grocery stores and hardware stores. Perhaps I should buy a bag. Keep in mind that different kinds of seeds attract different kinds of birds. Sunflower seeds attract the greatest variety. Goldfinches like thistle seed, but we don't have goldfinches here. Not only that, I actually make my own suet cakes. Su... what? Oh, you mean those blocks of seed that you put in a metal cage for birds to pick at? How do you make those? I can give you the recipe, but basically I melt a big chunk of suet, that's just animal fat, in a pan, and I add some peanut butter and then about a cup of cornmeal to thicken it. Next, you add the seeds? Yes, and not just seeds. I also put in some fruit, and since I don't want the squirrels to eat it, I put in some red chili powder. I had no idea that squirrels don't like chili. I'm surprised the birds aren't put off by it. Me too. Then I pat the mixture into a container to shape it, and put it in the fridge overnight to set. In the morning, I pop it out and put it into the wire cage you mentioned. That sounds pretty simple. Yes, I'd love to have the recipe. I also make my own hummingbird nectar. It's even easier. I just boil one cup water with one quarter cup sugar, or two cups water and half a cup sugar. Really? Ordinary white sugar? But aren't they always telling us how bad sugar is for us? Yes, for us. But it's okay for hummingbirds. And ants, unfortunately. You shouldn't put red food coloring in the sugar water, though. That's bad for them. It's better to buy a red hummingbird feeder. Question 1. What is the conversation mainly about? Question 2. What kind of seed does the woman probably buy? Question 3. Why does the woman put red chili powder in her suet cakes? Question 4. Why does she put the suit mixture in the fridge? Question 5. What does the man think about her use of white sugar?
Question 6. What will the man most likely do after talking to the woman?